What's up everyone? Lenny here with another shoe review for the YouTube channel. Now I got these Skechers Go Run Ultra Trail 3 and I'm going to review them. I got to 65 miles in them. I was going to go to 100 but as you can see they have an extreme rocker going on and it doesn't really agree with me. Um, it doesn't agree with my knees and same with Hoka's. Hoka's you know, I could tolerate hokas more, they don't hurt my knees as much, but I do start to get knee pain. And I think it's the fact that the when you rocker forward, you put more pressure off on your knee. And I don't know if anyone else has the same problem, but um, I have the problem big time. And so I, I got to 65 miles in these, and I really can't run in them anymore. And I wish they were just this way a little bit, that way they're a little flatter. But you know, this is definitely a very narrow shoe. Um, you see that, uh, combined, combined with the rocker and the narrowness, I think it's, uh, definitely an unstable shoe. I didn't take it on no mountain trails. I did take it on some nice groom trails and, uh, no rocks collected or anything, but I can tell like on the turns that it is very unstable. I felt like, you know, my ankle was kind of, uh, had a lot of pressure if I had to turn. And so the... Outsole has definitely got an upgrade. It's super huge now. It's a lot more thicker and Skechers has really made a soft shoe here. So the upper soft, the outsole soft. They also put this drainage thing in there on the insole and then also on the inside of the shoe there's a drainage kind of mesh. So the water, if you go in water, it'll go down all the way into the shoe and then out these little holes on the outsole right here. I don't know if you can see them. There's little holes, drainage holes. I did find the toe box to be a lot deeper in these than the previous version. And I did have a problem with the eyelids digging into my toe bone. That is completely gone. I feel like they did a, a good things with the toe box. I just felt like they, um, by adding the rocker and then as thin as this outsole is, it's just to me very unstable. And, um, but I did like the color on this. I hadn't seen this color anywhere else. I got it on Roadrunner Sports with a discount. So I like this color, the burgundy or light red or I mean dark red, I'm sorry, and uh, the teal blue. And I felt like this tongue was nice. It tied down pretty good. Now I didn't like the laces on the previous one. I don't know if they're the same laces, but I did like the laces on these. Now on sizing, I went with a size 11 and a half and when I got it, it felt really short. And when with this rocker, I felt like my toe was in my toes were going to be moving forward in it. So what I did is I went with a 12 uh, just to be safe. So I exchanged for a 12. I've been running in these 12s and uh, my foot's 11 inches. So, um, you know, you can calculate that into your own sizing. I would advise just get regular sizing, see how that feels, maybe even go for a run. And then, you know, but if you really want to be safe, you can order a size up. I mean, I'm half size up. I'm sorry, not a size up, half size up. But yeah, I mean... Um, and that's about all I mean I can really say. I mean, very soft shoe. I wanted it to work, but for some reason Skechers do not agree with my um, with my knees and stuff because of the rocker, you know. And uh, you know, it's it weighs about under fourteen ounces, and on the previous version, um, it was about ten point four. So I mean, we're talking a three three ounce. Um, difference from the older version to this version and it's because of all this cushion they added I mean it's just tons of cushion but it's very soft and uh, very responsive for being so soft I found it to be uh, a responsive material but also a very 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 soft material so and it does have a somewhat of a heel counter but it's not I mean it feels soft as well and after breaking this shoe in it, uh, it definitely felt like I had a lot more room um, to run with after that and uh, like I said, I mean just standard tongue. I loved how standard the tongue is um, Not too thin and not too thick. I know a lot of shoes companies are going into that pretty hardcore uh, Trying to do different things with the tongue to reduce weight or put weight in but if you want to try this out uh, Definitely something to try out on well-groomed trails. You can take it to the mountains if you want. Maybe you'll have a uh, you know, a different experience. Maybe it, you'll find it to be more stable. I did find it to be more stable the more I ran in it because I was breaking it in pretty good. And this is so soft that it feels like it's just sponging down.
But uh, this is the Skechers Go Run Ultra Trail 3 review. So good luck if you buy it. See you guys later.